Hey guys, JAP here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered video. And today we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare Rebooted, I guess? So, out of nowhere today, it got announced that we are going to have an alpha of Modern Warfare live to PlayStation users this coming weekend. August 23rd through August 25th, you will be able to play an alpha of Modern Warfare. This just completely blindsided everybody. And I was at work and I pulled up Twitter and it just out of nowhere. And from what it's being reported, it's not gonna be a private alpha. It's supposedly going to be an open alpha. And I think this comes from the partnership with PlayStation. When the beta comes down the line, it'll be a private beta for the first two days and then it'll be an open beta. So I think this is just one of those bonuses that they are giving to PlayStation users. And I cannot complain, I do have both consoles. I have the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One paperweight that I never use. So when it comes to time for maybe an exclusive beta on Xbox, which I don't think will happen, being you know PlayStation wouldn't allow that, uh, I could play on Xbox if need be. So I plan on doing a 12 hour stream this Saturday. I believe it's the 24th. And we're just gonna grind the hell out of Modern Warfare's 2v2. Hopefully they're gonna have a lot for us to do, at least four maps, give us, you know, maybe access to 20 guns, hopefully a third of the streaks. It would be nice to see it all. It is only 2v2, so I don't imagine many people are gonna get their hands on these massive streaks. Even though when I played Modern Warfare 3 and we had face off, I did Moab on every map and there was only one map I never got it on and that was Getaway, which could be done in 1v1 and 2v2s. I never seemed to pull that one off. The closest I got was 23. Uh, so I don't expect many people to be going off. Then again, I could be wrong. Being this is going to be an open alpha on PlayStation, there could be a metric ton of people playing. And if that's the case, you're going to encounter a lot of noobs. Unless they have skill-based matchmaking, then you're slowly going to find yourself sweating and just going crazy. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully they don't have skill-based matchmaking this unless they specifically are releasing a competitive-based thing for the alpha then i could understand but hopefully this is just a server stress test or just to see how the game plays while giving us a slight taste with 2v2s as the betas are coming next week so it was a surprise it's a good surprise so i will be grinding as much as i can i'll try to get as much footage as i can but i can't wait to see what people's reaction is going to be i wonder if they are releasing this just because of the community reaction into seeing the 2v2 stuff there's been a lot of gameplay now coming out with modern warfare and i think it's just time that they get people's hands on it so they can see if they start tuning things i don't expect anything to change when it comes to the personal radar we currently do not have that in basic game i think the competitive side has the map by default i think they said they're going to wait until the normal beta before they start taking player feedback on whether they should add it in or leave it out so let me know what y'all think? It looks like we're gonna have five different maps for these 2v2 modes. It looks like we're gonna have a map called Speedball, then King, Pine, Docks, and Stack. Speedball, I think, kind of reminds me of uh, that one Black Ops 2 map called Rush, except cutting out the inside and only being that outside. So it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully it will have that face-off feel from Modern Warfare 3. I thought that was one of the better things that Modern Warfare 3 had introduced was face-off because you could just go in with a team and just see how good you were versus other three stacks, because it was very rare that you ever saw randoms partying up going in. Um, you actually can test your skill. So that's where you're gonna find me this weekend. Hopefully we get a decent bit of play time in. 12 hour long stream on Saturday, and I hope to see y'all guys there. Let me know, were y'all caught off surprised by today? Is this a good surprise for you? Or those of you on Xbox and PC, I've seen a couple people on Twitter, uh, y'all are rather aggravated that once again, y'all are getting kicked out of the loop uh, and PlayStation is getting that benefit because Activision wants that sweet, sweet PlayStation money. You can relieve your aggravation down in the comment section below if you are annoyed by this. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.